Only on Fox tonight, the family of that suspect who pulled the trigger in that Taylor shooting is speaking out. Only we brought you footage from inside the courtroom last night as William Loris faced a judge. Well, tonight, one close relative tells me there's more to this story. They say Loris suffered from schizophrenia and wants to people to know about William's mental state leading up to this shooting. We've taken you to the deadly scene, shown you exclusive bond court footage. He has been sick for years. And now we're speaking to a close relative of the man who deputies say pulled the trigger, killing Ahmad Abuzari. I really want him to first and foremost apologize to the family for tragically, instantaneously taking the life of somebody that was just an innocent bystander in his mind that he was thinking that was doing him harm. Doing him hard. A close family member tells me William Loris has schizophrenia and believes it played a major role in his deadly actions Monday night. It's a over anxiety of your mind thinking that there is something bound to happen or something that will happen. He says justice is necessary, but hopes it's accompanied by real mental help for Loris moving forward. Give him that help for him to go to a go to a, a mental hospital where he is evaluated and he is monitored. I asked if Loris was acting normal leading up to the shooting. My grandmother's house um, on Gandhi Avenue, when he moved there just this year, he was doing more outside activities. Like he kept the yard cleaned up. He kept his living space cleaned up. He was very to himself. That's why this family member feels mental health is behind a shooting they wish never happened. I would like for him to get the help that he truly needs. Now, the suspect in this case, William Loris, has a connection to a cold case dating back more than 17 years ago. The family confirms this cold case victim you see right here, Douglas Raja Loris, is actually the nephew of William Loris. He was killed back in 2003.